It's been an incredible tournament and one cannot complain with the satisfaction we've gotten from AFCON 2023 Ivory Coast. Now, this is the episode where I'm basically giving the seven lessons or things I've taken out from the game between Bafana Bafana and Nigeria. Incredible game, entertaining, uh, but uh, obviously Nigeria have taken this one through penalties. And congratulations to the Super Eagles. They've done well and uh, they deserve to be in the finals. As a South African, uh, South African, I would have loved for Bafana Bafana to be in the final, but it was not to be. And uh, someone has to lose, someone has to win. And uh, congratulations to all the Nigerians uh, with your Super Eagles team. And you'll be facing the elephants of Cordova. But going back to the game, the seven things we are taking out, or I'm taking out from, uh, from that game will go as follow. Now, before I even start with number one, I would really, really appreciate all the uh, subscribers who are coming back, uh, the new ones, and uh, especially people who have started supporting me uh, through the, the icon. Uh, just forgot all the stickers. Uh, just forgot what the name of it now. Because at the bottom there, you'll see a thanks with a dollar sign. So when you click on it, you'll have uh, different options. Uh, it can go from 20 bucks until uh, I think it's 2,800 rands that you can, uh, you can support the channel, obviously, for me to improve in uh, in other aspects of 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 the channel but i'm really 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 grateful for people subscribing engaging liking sharing the content on all other other socials and uh it's humbling and uh, i know uh, obviously i have to improve i have to do more uh, but it's humbling when people do acknowledge that uh, you are doing uh, you're doing well you're doing uh, good here and there anyway without any waste of time Number one, South Africans are allowed to be disappointed, but we should not be discouraged. We are allowed to be disappointed, but we should not be disheartened. Bafana Bafana played their hearts out. They played for the badge. They played for that emblem. I mean, they left everything on the field. It was, uh, we were not playing some uh, Mickey Mouse uh, soccer nation. We're playing the Super Eagles, who most of their players play their trade in, in Europe. And uh, Bafana Bafana really stood toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with the nation of Nigeria, with some more established players in the world. We, we should not be discouraged. We should not be disheartened. But we should actually be encouraged on what we can build on from what we've seen uh, in this AFCON. So the number one point is definitely that Bafana Bafana fans, uh, and this is actually the first time I was really, really, really hurt by Bafana Bafana. For the longest time, the soccer national team has been one that has been a mockery uh, for the longest time. And at this time around, they, they have really brought back the love for the soccer national uh, team because in South Africa, the one sporting code that's loved, adored, followed is cricket and and rugby, and the one that's mostly followed by my people it's football, and uh, it is not supported at all. And uh, Bafana Bafana have done extremely well in uniting black folks who love this, who love football, and um, and I'm, I'm I'm even going to be buying my first. South African Bafana Bafana uh, t-shirt and because for the longest time these guys have not been doing well but they showed heart he left I mean you could literally smell and touch sweat and blood from all those boys who, who were competing with the Nigerians on on the semi-final day and uh, yes congratulations to to the Super Eagles, but Bafana Bafana, you've done yourself extremely proud. And a lot of South Africans are going back to watch and support Bafana Bafana whenever they play because of your exploits in this year's AFCON edition. And uh, the second point will be the tactics. I think that Uncle Hugo Bruce went into this match with the mentality to mirror 
how Nigeria plays. We know that Nigeria, off the ball, it looks like a 3-4-3 three, three system with a back three and uh, with uh, two wing backs. Uh, when they lose the ball, they then look like a, almost like a five at the back, like a 5-3-2. And uh, that's what uh, Hugo Bruce did with Bafana Bafana. He relegated Morena to the bench and brought in someone who last played on our loss against Mali, Sianda Kulu, to be amongst that back three or back five when we don't have the ball. So it was uh, Grant, it was Kulu, I mean, it was Grant, it was Kulu, and it was Mfala. That three and our wing backs or full backs or whatever you can call them, Muda on the right and Mudiba uh, on the left. And then uh, in the middle, it was still your Mukwe and Sitol in front of them, the number 10. It was Mshishi Zwane with Mukhopa and Tao up front. Obviously, this system was going to be one that was going to favor Tao a lot because in past games, Tao, a lot that was demanded from him was to assist Mudiba. And uh, you can just tell that is not uh, Tao's game. And it made him suffer a lot because we didn't see him uh, a lot going up front, uh, having dribbles. He was occupied so much uh, that he, even when he was free to actually uh, bomb up forward, he uh, rather just passed the ball backwards. But this system really favored him more to play closer to a Mukhopa, and uh, his duty was clear. Just like an Osimen, he's a big guy, tall guy, but you can tell how Victor Osimen plays. He plays in a way that um, uh, attempts or tries to pull the center back away from their central position, similar to Tao. His duty was uh, whenever you have the ball, uh, try and just pull one of the central guys away from that central position, leaving Mahopa and uh, uh, Zwane with those late runs in, in the box. And uh, he play, played a better game, Pesitao, than all the other games he has played. Although we cannot, uh, I cannot sit here and lie, he did not have a great tournament uh, at all. But uh, this system was better suited for a Pesitao. So he made it. Uh, a Nigerian in that manner and uh, we must say that first half of Bafana Bafana obviously the first five minutes or so uh, the Nigerians were were on our necks they really really uh, planned maybe to get uh, the, a goal maybe in the first five or ten minutes and it showed with the amount of pressure and uh, they were really putting on uh, on us and uh, but it was not to be because after that five or ten minutes Bafana Bafana settled and they started playing their way. And I must say, as much as we don't like a Sianda Kulu, but the 45 minutes or so he played, he did extremely well, maybe because of the system, uh, because the previous system he played when we were playing Mali, it was still on that 4 4 2 or 4 2 3 uh, 1 system, and uh, we fumbled a lot and made uh, silly errors. Uh, but in this one, he played well. So yeah, those were the tactics uh, that Hugo Bruce approached this game with. And more so because he knew when Nigeria scores first, it is difficult for opponents to come back. Maybe the plan was, let us not concede first when we do get the ball, unleash our full backs, uh, play on the counter and get the goal first. Because everyone fears uh, the Super Eagles that scores first normally wins every game and uh, it was not to be because we eventually considered um, the, the the first goal and uh Sianda Kulu had to had to be substituted but he played very well now coming to the third point v a r i think v a r in this tournament all the officials involved they have done exceptionally well they've done extremely well i'm not sure because a lot of uh, football analysts have uh, glorified Bafana Bafana and with the amount of local players we had in our league. I don't know if these guys know that but our Premier Soccer League, we don't have VAR as yet. And I think it's time that our league really, really adopts and actually introduces VAR. It has helped many nations, including South Africa. I mean, how our goal came about was uh, during a, a, a celebration 
uh, by the Nigerians and by the Super Eagles after a tap in by Osime, only to be retracted and uh, uh, for Bafana Bafana to be awarded a, a deserved penalty because it was a foul in the box on Pesitao. So, so VAR and the application of it on this tournament has been excellent, has been uh, very well. So, so all the refs involved, uh, we are really, really applaud you. And uh, we are hoping that even the final between the Elephants and the Super Eagles, uh, everyone involved uh, will just continue doing the good job you've been doing. I mean, obviously, it will never be 100%. We might be crying for fouls here and there. Uh, but uh, majority of the games we've witnessed, the VAR has, apl has been applied excellently. Point number four, or lesson number four, they're uh, taking out from this game between Bafana Bafana and the Super Eagles is everyone who watched this game, a neutral, uh, someone watching Afcon for the first time, I can promise you one thing: they could not tell uh, the difference between. Bafana Bafana players and Nigerian players, whether these ones are playing in Africa or whether these ones are playing in the top leagues in Europe. You could not distinguish between the two. Bafana Bafana players, most of them, we only, we only have two players playing outside the continent of Africa. That is uh, Michele Manyambela playing in Cyprus and uh, Sitole playing in, in Portugal. But everyone else plays in the continent of Africa and you could not tell the difference. The quality that the Bafana Bafana brought into the, the game, it matched every position that uh, Nigeria has got. The goalkeepers are both playing in the South African League. Nobali plays for Chippa United. Uh, Ronza Williams plays for Mamelodi Sundowns. And then every other position is matched. And uh, you, you really, really, obviously, Maybe one position that was better than the other is probably the Osime, Osime position versus uh, Evidence Mohopa. Evidence Mohopa is young, he's 23, he's just coming up. Um, while Victor Osime has played in, in top leagues for, for some time and playing for, for top clubs uh, for, for some time. And uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a current footballer of the season. But in any other thing, you really, really could not differentiate between who's playing in Africa and who's playing in Europe. Point number five or lesson number five we're taking from this game. Now, both defenses coming to the game had not considered a goal in four games. But when it came to this one, both defenses, the Bafana Bafana wall, uh, consisting of Sianda Kulu, Grankekana, Mvala, Muriba, Mudau, and I don't know, still, that fortified wall, I'm not sure if it's a, it's a great wall of, uh, of Potakot or Abuja or Lagos or Wari, or, 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 or I don't know where, where the wall is from, but that Ekong Basi Ajayi wall was breached and it was broken. Both walls were broken, both walls uh, uh, were under severe pressure, hence, uh, you notice some silly mistakes because uh, both walls were, were tested, they, they were great, and obviously, they, they still played well. I'm not saying they didn't play, both defenses played well. Hence, the, the, the goals could not come from open play, but through, through penalties. And uh, salute to, to both teams, which actually takes me to the next point, which is the point number six, uh, men of the match. They chose uh, the Nigerian goalkeeper as the man of the match. But um, if the game ended in 120 minutes without going to penalties, I, I can bet my life on this, that uh, Trust Ekong, or Tebuko Mukwena from South Africa might have won the man of the match. I mean, these guys, they played their heart out. Cool as a cucumber when you're talking about Trust Ekong. He's probably, uh, not probably, he will be in the, 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 the best 11 of this year's edition of AFCON as one of those center backs, maybe with Mutobi Mvala, the South African. Uh, cool as a cucumber, very calm. He, he, he just makes everyone who's working around him at ease, Basi at ease, um, Ajay at ease. So he might have been made of the match had this not actually gone to, to penalties. And Tebukho Mukwena on the side of South Africa, uh, 
I mean, he's been the, the, the player of the tournament for South Africans. Uh, he's really, really been, uh, uh, he's played every game. He's played his heart, heart out in every game. He's been excellent. His passes, uh, his connection with number 10, Mshishi. Oh man, uh, we, we, I, I can write a book about how excellent Tebo Homukwena has done in this tournament for Bafana Bafana. But Truth Ekong, salute to you, brother. You've done extremely well as well. Last point on this episode on the seven things, seven lessons we are taking from the game between Bafana Bafana and Super Eagles is that the Nigerian Super Eagles actually came into this tournament having prepared very well for our goalkeeper, Ronwen Williams. From South African side, our boys and their penalties, our penalties were very poor. Dead evidence, Mukhopa penalty was, uh, was one of the poorest I've seen. And, um, Tebo Humukwena, you've already had one penalty and scored against Nobali. You're having another one. Why this time, even if you're going to the same direction or same side, why not this time around put it on the floor? Or rather, hit it straight or put it on the floor. But it was not to be. But the Nigerian guys, I mean, even the subs during extra time, you could, you could just tell. I think three guys that were subbed uh, into the game, they all took penalties and they all scored. Uh, they knew that Ronan Williams is going to dive on one of the sides. And this, most of them smashed it straight on or just put it on, on the floor. And um, salute to the technical team of the Super Eagles. They planned very well for our, for our keeper. And uh, uh, that is why today we are saying the Super Eagles are in the finals. This game was truly satisfying. Yes, disappointing, but not discouraged. Uh, but for, 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 for entertainment value, for satisfaction, uh, even as a neutral, this by far stands as one of uh, the, the most uh, uh, entertaining or the best games uh, we've watched in this tournament. This Afghan still remains one of the best I have witnessed and I think it is the best tournament I've witnessed in all the editions of Afghan I've watched. If you're seeing this face and this content for the first time, do hit that like button, subscribe to the brother, share the content on all your so socials, do engage and uh, tell me what are other lessons uh, you took from this game between Bafana and, uh, and Nigeria and what are the chances of Super Eagles actually upsetting the host and winning this cup. It's a West African derby and uh, this is a proper derby because Nigeria versus South Africa, is a, we can't even call it, uh, there's no rivalry there because Nigeria are a super football country. We are just starting out. They've been to the World Cup more than we have. They, they've won the AFCON more than we have. So we should be humble and just learn from the Nigerians. Uh, the, we, 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 we are just coming up. Biggie, 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 small, 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 small. We will get there, South Africans, but we also need to applaud the ones who are in the final. Congratulations to you again, Super Eagles and the Elephants, and good luck to in the finals. And uh, yeah, that is me, and I'm signing out, and may my God bless you all. <laughs>